Today we're going to be installing Morrowind on our favorite Android devices. I'm going to be installing it on my Retroid Pocket 3 since it's a little bit lower end hardware just to show you how well it runs on these devices. It's amazing to see one of the most beloved RPG classics on Android. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do to get Morrowind installed on our Android device is to download the game. I'm going to use my Steam copy here. Once it's downloaded, make sure to head to Local Files and then just browse the folder and it'll bring it up. You need to make sure to copy this entire folder, the Morrowind folder itself. Download the latest Open Microwave APK from the GitHub page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. With the latest APK downloaded, head over to one of the folders on your device and paste that in so you can install that later. We need to copy the Morrowind installation over to the console next. Make a new folder on the console, just call it Morrowind. You can also put it on your microSD card if you're running low on internal storage. Performance wise, both are the same. What I usually do is just put it on my microSD card, make a folder called Games, and then make a subfolder in that called Morrowind. We need to copy the entire Morrowind contents from our Steam game over into this folder. So open that folder up now and just copy it over. This part here can take upwards of maybe 30, 40 minutes because there's a lot of small files. It usually takes a long time to copy those to your internal or your micro SD card. Feel free to leave this minimized while you wait. Maybe go grab a tea or something. Of course, with the magic of video, we can skip a little bit of this and just move straight into the next part of the installation. Hopping over to the Android side now, open your file manager. I use CX File Explorer because there's no ads in it and it's free. Navigate to the folder where you put the APK for the install and install that now. This shouldn't take too long to install. Once it's installed, just go ahead and open that up. Now that the port is installed, all we have to do is just tell it where the game files are. So we put it on our micro SD card here, so let's click on that. We gotta open up the games folder next, and then the Morrowind subfolder. This is where we want to select. If you want, you can double check your on-screen controls to make sure that they're to your liking. I didn't change anything here. You can also change the UI scaling factor if that's too small. What you definitely do want to change is the physics FPS to at least 30 for a mid to weaker tier device and maybe about a 60 for a stronger Android device. Hit launch and the game should start up right away. If your controller is not working, don't worry too much. You can always configure that later on the main menu here. If you have a physical controller connected, hit the menu button up here and select the mouse and it should get rid of a lot of this HUD. If you need to configure your controls, head over to the options menu, otherwise go ahead and select new game and it should boot. Feel free to turn up the volume for a little extra nostalgia factor. And there you go, Morrowind should be working now perfectly on your device. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? The default settings here on my Retroid Pocket 3 are pretty good, but you're definitely not going to hit the stable 60. My Odin Lite, on the other hand, can handle this a lot better as it's not CPU bottlenecked like the RP3 is. I've turned the video settings down to the very bottom here, and you can see the FPS is a little bit better than what it was, but it's still definitely not that solid 60. Overall, this is a really well done port and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it on your Android device. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below.